Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Monday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Cheryl, Mike. Good to see you all. Kathy, Chuck, Bonnie. Good to see you all. Don. Good to see you all. Uh, look at all those great people, those great traders. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody had a nice little weekend. Uh, hopefully, everybody had a nice little football weekend, and everybody else. It was pretty fun. And we'll be back. Well, it's ready to go back to make some money. So a lot of good things are moving on this morning. Uh, got a couple of good little stocks we're going to check out and also talk about what happened last week. So a couple of good things that are moving. Let's start off. And uh, I know we're all looking at the stock EROS right now. And a lot of you guys are did pretty well on it so far. There's a huge – I'm just going to give you a heads up. There is a huge buyer right now. He – he is oh he just pulled his order never mind he just pulled his order i saw a 45,000 share buyer at two dollars and 45 cents which is right here he just pulled his order right now uh 270 i see about a 1200 uh 11,000 shares seller out there all right but the stock's been doing pretty well i know you guys already traded it right around 8 30 and it was a nice little cheap little mover. I saw a lot of you guys doing pretty well. Stock went from like a 230 all the way to 270. It's starting to make lower lows, so hopefully everybody's out of it right now. But I'm not really seeing any buyers out there now that that big buyer pulled his order. But we're going to come back. We'll check out this one in a couple of minutes. Let's go talk about what happened last week. First, let's start off with this little cheapy that we traded. And uh, what a nice moving stock. This one right here. You fix the time frame. So we had this stock that literally went from like 90 cents to a buck 60, uh, almost about 200 percent. You could see it kind of gapped up from the day before. The only issue is this, um, you know, I wasn't a fan of trading this stock for just one one main reason. I'm not a penny stock guy, you know, and if you look on the right, we have no level three quotes. We don't know where the buyers and sellers are. Uh, so it kind of makes it really, really difficult when you also deal with tenths of a penny. Not that, that none of you guys made money with it, but you know, listen, I know some of you guys did really well on it, but, um, it's just, uh, you had to be, you had to be a little bit, be very, very careful of trading stocks like that. Now, what was more up our alley was like this stock, this T O R C. Now here's a stock that just literally just got decimated, went from $8 in pre-market down to three some of us were able to get to short and you know what you would never think of it but like you know i'm a bottom fisher so i thought the stock would bounce but you could tell just by pre-market and sure enough it went from <laughs> from my from 8 30 you went from two all the way down to a buck it went down another dollar so it, it did make a little bit of move around one o'clock it started making come up a little bit nothing substantial but she really didn't go anywhere now i'm a fan of the stock i want to see what's happening this morning it is gapped up a little bit you know, but, you know, when these stocks get this destroyed, I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's really bad. And knowing that's probably a pharmaceutical stock. So, I mean, these things just get hammered. Um, and we know they don't come back. What else we had? The AMRN. That was another one. A blast from the past. This stock has just been literally treating us so well lately uh you can see on the long-term chart right here on the right 17 up to 20 up to 24 she had that really nice move which i'm not really a fan of you know a lot of us are usually done uh before 10 30 in the morning but she she had a nice little move in the middle of the day um you know, went from 22.50 to about 24. She's moving again this morning. Not a lot, but listen, from what we know as a day trader, now this little became a little more of a swing trade, actually. But it's breaking all-time highs. But remember, this stock is a very, very fast-moving stock. You got to be a level three, minimum level three, cyber trader, um, you know, to trade this type of stock. Now, for some of you, I know we have a lot of new members joining us, but we, you know, when we teach you, some stocks are more volatile than others. Some of you think about, oh, I can't trade the stock. It moves too quickly. And you know what? You're right. But if you trained how to, eventually you'll know how to go from training wheels to driving a two-wheeler uh, to a motorcycle. And you know what? It just takes time and patience. But one thing I did like about the stock, it had some really nice Fausto flags and uh, that kind of helped us out. The really nice one, was the LK. Uh, LK was probably hands down the best stock out of them all. Um, it, it, you know what? It got to a point with LK. We were watching this thing just take off from 22 to 27. And there was times I was looking at them like, 
do I buy it here? Do I buy it? It just did not want to back off. It didn't want to back off until we got around like one o'clock. Then it did its little shakes. It busted up, did a little shakes, made the higher highs. But this stock, hands down, was the best stock. That's why I saved the best for last. So um, listen, don't worry about it. Today's a new day, right? You know, a lot of us come into trading and, um, you know, it's like, darn it, I missed that one. Darn it, I missed that one today. You're going to get another shot. There's always new ones here. That's the beauty about day trading. We're just focusing on the day's trade and making your day's pay. But this is something you got to look forward to. So this was hands down uh, our, our best winner for Friday. Now, what do we got going on to this morning? Listen, weekend. Uh, Black Friday's coming around the corner, you know, uh, Thanksgiving, biggest holiday of the year, kids come back from college, long weekend, you know, then we got Christmas, so it's going to get very active, you got the impeachment talking, you know, you got a lot of stuff that's, a lot of stuff that's happening, a lot of earnings coming out, people like to come out earnings right around this time of the year, not during the holidays, so we got a lot of action going on, uh, but just remember, as professional traders that we are, we got to know what time of the day it is, you know, what, what day of the week, because some days are better than others. So let's start off with the one that we liked. Uh, we looked at earlier, which is the E-R-O-C-S. Oops, I typed it wrong. So that one, you could see, had a really nice push from the from yesterday, mid-higher highs, had a beautiful Fausto flag. Um, she's starting to come back down to that support levels. So I'm not really a fan of the stock anymore. Uh, until we see how it opens up because she's starting to back up. She's backing off a little bit right now from what I see from yesterday. You know, you could see it, you could see it starting to come down. I'm not seeing any buyers out there, you know, any iceberg orders out there. So we'll see how she opens up. My next, uh, my next favorite stock that I liked is obviously the one from last week that got destroyed, the TRCO. Maybe the CEO is going to wake up this morning, maybe average down, who knows. But remember, this doesn't mean like, oh, you know what? Let me hold on for it. Let me, maybe it's a good buy now. You know, you won't know if it's a good buy for a long term until about three, four, five days until probably we start breaking up about two, two fifty. We got to, you know, that's when you know, you, you know, that's when you know the stock is obviously an investment when you start breaking higher highs. Uh, what else we got this morning? The KRTX came up on our radar. Is another nice little stock. A little bit on the expensive side. You know, we're not big fans of trading very expensive stocks, but the stock gapped up pretty big from 18 to 36. Stock is a little bit all over the place. Um, you know, you would first thing you think is it a buyout? I didn't. I honestly didn't check the news yet. But when I see things that are fluctuating on that pre-market, I could tell you from experience, not even looking at the stock, I would say it's not. Um, not only that, but when you look at the level three over there on the right, you're not seeing like big block orders on both sides. So the stock obviously it's got some uh, some wiggle room over there. Once again, fast moving stock. I found this one too, the CLBS. I don't know if I'm still a fan of it. You know, the stock we've traded a couple of days. You can see we're from 2, 220 up to 280. It's testing some major resistance levels right here. Um, not really getting the greatest pre market. I might scratch that, you know. You know maybe I changed my mind on that one. Let me get rid of it. Uh, X, Xnet. Let's bring up that one. So everybody remembers Xnet. We killed it on this one uh, a couple of weeks ago. This is that stock that went from 250 all the way to seven dollars. So uh, you could see it's starting to back to back off a little bit. To me, this looks like a perfect short squeeze. That's what it was. I mean, stock to go up, you know, three, four hundred percent. You know, that's what we do here. But doesn't mean now it's a long-term play. But she is up a little bit this morning. I'll be very, very cautious on it. She didn't move that much on Friday. She had that little pop from 460 to 490, and then she was done within 30 minutes. But uh, this is like one of those you got to like just take the money and run. What else we got here? The SLS is another one. That's the last one right there. Now, I don't know if this stock is on your short list, but this stock has just obviously been trending down beautifully. It's making lower lows, continuing from Friday to today. You know, you could see how it went from 660, closed at right around five dollars, and look at that pre-market, just literally just going straight down. So um, nice little short, but once again, I don't know if it's on your short list. Anything over under five dollars, sometimes brokers don't let let you let you short it. But that one looks pretty 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 nicely. By the way, how much lower could this stock go? People always ask. I don't know. There is a number actually. It's called zero. So you know, don't ever think like, oh, but I own it at you know ten dollars. Listen. The trend is your friend. Don't buck that trend. All right. So um, uh, Ben just posted up uh, 
on the level four quotes, AMRN. You know, up uh, maybe about 30 cents already on that stock. Good for you, Ben. Nice job. Give him a round of applause. Always nice to start early, make you money. All right, guys. So I think that pretty much does it. Uh, I think we, you know, listen, it's not a big list on a Monday. That's perfectly normal. We always have new stocks that do come up. And that's why uh, we'll go into a moment of silence. Remember, we'll start the, uh, the commentary once the market opens up. Uh, with that said, guys, before we go, remember next week is going to be the classes. So we're going to do phase three next week on Monday and Tuesday. This week, don't forget, we got Traders Talk and we got Tom Sosnoff coming on Closing Bell from Tasty Trade. So if you guys want to know, you know, want a good options platform and you want to talk to the pioneer who built Think or Swim and launched his, you know, the next best thing, don't forget, make sure you register for that. Always look forward. Tom's a very, very good friend of mine. You know, he doesn't uh, do too many appearances on other third-party educators, but because, you know, we're very good friends, he knows we do a great job. He's going to come on there. Listen, you always can learn something from other great educators, okay? So, you know, make sure you make that opportunity to register. We'll put the link there and hopefully you register for it. In the meantime, I know we got a lot of new members that are starting this week. There's an old saying. Just look, listen, and learn. Please don't buy anything. Just watch the traders. Some of you guys want to do this, but realistically, it might not be for you, and that is okay. Okay? All right? So, um, but at the end of the day, it's it really is for everyone. But just watch what we do here. Watch the traders. Watch how they make money and uh, how we control our losses. That's the big thing you guys got to learn. It's about, you know, not about the winners, about controlling the losers. So sit back and then make sure you talk to your education advisor and it'll tell you if you, this is what you want to do, we'll tell you how to move forward with it because it's not something, it's a get rich quick scheme and you're not going to learn how to do it in five days. Okay. This is something you'll be doing for the next 20, 30 years. It takes time to learn it. Just got to have patience. As long as you love it, you'll do great. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll uh, start the commentary in about, uh, about 15 minutes. All right. Go get your cup of coffee and hit the restrooms and, We'll be back and uh, go from there. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.